Hi, this is Stephen with Ferris Management Interactive. Well, in preparation for the convention in January with the OFA, we have created an online library for all the OFA members to try out the Ferris MI event and facility site planner tools. And if you look at the list on the right, you can see we've already added some OFA members. And our goal is to have as many members as possible online and working with the tools in advance of convention so at the workshops members can try out our tools using their own fairgrounds. Now the fairgrounds of Lynn, Polk, and Columbia County have already been using our tools for over a decade but in the process of creating this library we actually have a new member that we've put up and that's Benton County and we'll use that as an example of some of the ways you can use our planner. Now I want to be clear that Benton County and any other OFA member has no obligation. This is a free trial to use the complete set of tools. We have found over the years that fairground managers understand what our tools can do for them when they are able to use it on their own fairgrounds. In addition to the association fairgrounds library, each fair gets their own individual site planner to work with. As you can see here, the Benton County has a branded system with their own outdoor maps and floor plans. These outdoor maps and building plans are essentially backgrounds, but they are dynamic in that they are to scale and you can zoom and pan and navigate around those background maps. Now in the foreground are many different types of objects that you would be using on the fairground to plan events or even to manage your infrastructures. So for example, let's start out with just the plain old booths. But what would you do if you could automatically lay out an entire exhibit hall with just a few clicks just by setting the number of aisles and the size of your booths? Well, let's take a look. We set just a few variables with the layout, the number of booths in a row, the booth size, the number of aisles, the width of the aisles, and whether we want to orient the layout to be vertical or horizontal. Also add a starting booth number. And there you go, it's as quick as that. And then it takes just a few clicks to begin editing your layout. So we just did a vertical layout. Now how great would it be in just a few seconds to do a comparison with a horizontal layout? All we have to do is change those booth variables and change the layout orientation to horizontal and then that type of layout comparison that may have taken you days now only takes you seconds. You can see it's just a quick click of the button that opens up the entrance ways by clearing out booths. Now let's skip ahead on this layout and see what it would look like after a few other edits. You can see how easy it is to change the booth sizes and as you can see we've got some color coding for the different type of vendors and also look here we've got the bar room and banquet table setups that can also be manipulated. Now as we're looking here you notice that it isn't just white squares we've started going into what we call icons which are either color geometric objects or other representations. And as we look at that bar room and banquet setup, we see that it isn't just a plain white rectangle. We've started using other representations. We call these icons to create scale objects for the event areas or for infrastructure planning. So we see now how the Ferris MI programming can automatically lay out your booths. Now what about for banquet tables? Let's look at an example using a six foot by six foot round to automatically set up and number your banquet area. Just like the booth layouts, we can edit these banquet tables and we can add icons like the bar and banquet setups as well as a stage or dance floor. Now these automatic layouts aren't just for the inside. It works outside too for your fairground events as well as your infrastructure planning for your grounds. You see on this example that we've used icons to represent scale versions of fairground rides, tents, seating areas, the stage, boundary lines, even our booths we can create a curved layout for. And how about icons to help you manage your rodeo arena, whether it be to add extra bleachers, to create a new sorting pen configuration, even to manage your truck parking from your goosenecks to your livestock semis. All these different icons are in a 
list in your drop down on the planner and all you have to do is drag and drop them into place. And what if you need an object you don't see in that drop down list? All you have to do is request it and 24 hours later when you open your program there it is ready to drop in whatever that custom configuration unique to your fairground is. Is your fairground considering a new building to put on site? Just send us that floor plan and we can create an icon of that too and allow you to drop it in evaluating its best location. Are you considering renovating one of your buildings to add office space? This type of capability provides for your fair board that it can narrow down the options for either renovations or new construction and vastly reduces the architectural engineering fees for those feasibility studies. And as long as we're on the topic of infrastructure management of fairgrounds, let's look at utility mapping. Here's an example from Polk County Fairgrounds. They did not have a county utility map, but they were able to hand draw out the utility placements and we were able to create a layered interactive map for them. This is a quick reference for them that they can access anywhere and if they want to add more utilities all they have to do is submit it and 48 hours later it's on their map. The next example is an Arizona Fairs Association member that had an as-built proposition for their parking lot that had various utilities to be mapped and considered. And the next example is from the Canadian National Exhibition. And not only did they want utility mapping, but they want to map out important information for their EMT or critical emergency response in terms of mapping their different entranceways and their cartable areas and things like that. Well, that's a quick rundown of some of the details. Again, we invite all the members of the OFA to contact us and just simply request that you want to have your interactive planner. Fares Management Interactive isn't just a software, it's a service. So a lot of the details that you see here, we provide and we create these setups for you and customize it for you based on resources that you can easily and conveniently provide to us. We want to make sure that the only time you have to invest in the FAIRS MI planners is the time it takes to actually do and accomplish the work you need for your own facility. And remember, it isn't just the OFA library. Each fairground gets their own dedicated site planner. As I mentioned, the Columbia County, Polk County, and Lynn County fairgrounds have all been FAIRS MI clients for over 10 years. Give them a call and ask them what they think. Fairs MI is a powerful tool for your event planning and your facility management, creating accurate to scale detailed layouts with just a click, a drag, and a drop. Fairs MI operates completely online, no software to download. You have unlimited learning, unlimited support, unlimited numbers of users unlimited events. You can plan all your interim events as well as your main event. And learning is easy. No big manuals. We teach you only what you need to get done with the tasks that you have for your fairground. We provide you personal phone guided interactive instruction either one-on-one -on -one or for your entire team. But after even one introductory lesson, you'll be productive and already planning your next event or project. So please, you can contact us directly or through the OFA and request to be put online with your individual fairground planner. We'll be doing workshops and a presentation at convention and we'll be ready to work with you on your fairground and if you don't have one by then we can show you examples of other fairgrounds and how our tools work for your event planning and your infrastructure management of your fairgrounds. I'm going to go ahead and let the video run for a few more minutes just demonstrating again some of the tools in action but I do want to thank the OFA for inviting me to Salem for the convention and I look forward to seeing all the members. This is Stephen Bolgiano, Fairs Management Interactive, Fairs MI. Thanks.